Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon, and every expectation that this will be a captivating contest. It's Crystal Palace up against Watford. I'm excited, Derek. Really looking forward to this game. Come on, bring it on. Number 24, Gary Cahill. Well, whenever you're trying to defend against Wilfred Zaha, you've quite simply got to be on your toes. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, pace. Just look how fast he runs. Absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. And so the initial 11 for Watford. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the full backs will be asked to support from behind. Jairo Riedewald. Patrick van Aanholt. Oh, he's given it away. Good looking ball. Good movement. And a throw in it's going to be. And options in the centre. Adam Massina. able to get a body in the way and a goal kick will be next Schlup. Kuyate. Benteke. Just the challenge that was required. Will Hughes. Well, high marks for that pass. And there's the feed into the box. And he did what he had to do defensively. Luka Milivojevic. Schlup. It's with Milivojevic. Ezi. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Tom Cleverley. And Hughes has it. Now can they create something? Can he put it away? Still alive. So a throw in here. Well, possibilities inside the box. Adam Massina. King. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards.
Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. The opening goal of the game then. Well, showing good vision. Have they given him too much space? Opportunity to deliver the cross. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Lusa, chance to attack using wit. Oh, surely, just couldn't get it through. And firing it into the area. Well, thumped clear. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Hughes. Well, nicely cut out. Ezzy. Zaha. Anholt still trailing but they're upping the pressure magnificent challenge to win it back well the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board and a creative look about this Schlup, Eberechi, Ezzi on the ball. And in the perfect position to read it. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right, he has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Will Hughes. Well, he played that one really well. Ismail Assar. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. Well, possession seeded. Less than convincing defending. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. A really intense pressure applied. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Van Aanholt. Patrick Van Aanholt. 
Luka Milivojevic. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Ezi. Now with Mateta. Jairo Riedewald. What can he do from here? And smart defending. Will Hughes. Kiko Femenia. No possibilities inside the box. At times they make passing look easy. Cleared away. Well, they've decided to make a change. Kiko Femenia. Will Hughes. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. So, 20 minutes to go. Cahill. Luka Milivojevic. Losing possession a bit easily. Tom Cleverley. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Wilfried Zaha. Patrick van Aanholt. It's with Milivojevic. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Time for a change then. And over comes the corner. And the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. Gosling. And Hughes has it. Delivering it into the box. And unable to keep possession. And five minutes to go. Gosling. Femenia. Will he play it in? Will Hughes. But a crucial intervention inside the box. And that will be that. It is now official and it will go down as a positive result for Watford Lee. Well, wins like that when there's nothing between the sides seem more valuable somehow. Really tight game that was. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.